Following a short suspension, CNN has now officially fired their host, Chris Cuomo. So before I get to any more on this, including why I was not at all surprised by this firing, here is CNN themselves announcing it. This is CNN Breaking News. And we have breaking news to report to you right now about CNN anchor Chris Cuomo. Earlier this week, Cuomo was suspended from CNN after documents revealed he had been involved more than previously known in shaping his brother, former Governor Andrew Cuomo's defense. Cuomo, uh, Chris Cuomo, we should point out, has now been terminated here at CNN. There you have Jim Acosta making the official announcement on CNN. So Cuomo, fired, gone. Now I'll get to his statement that he released. I'll also get to CNN's official statement here. But before I get to any of that, first, just to let you know, in case you want more details on what led to the suspension that led to the firing, I already have a video on the suspension that goes over details around what Chris Cuomo was doing and and how he was helping his brother during that, all those uh, allegations that came out. But before I get to more on this, I just want to say that this is not surprising at all. Um, apparently some people are surprised that CNN actually went ahead and fired him considering Cuomo had the best ratings in prime time on CNN, but this is why they fired him. This was way too big of a PR mess for them to try and maintain any semblance of journalistic standards while keeping him at the network. Now, some people point to, but they brought, you know, Jeffrey Tubin back. Tubin, uh, you know, exposed himself during a Zoom call while he thought his camera was off, but that wasn't a conflict of interest. That didn't bring into question their journalistic standards. All this mess around Chris Cuomo does. Now, of course, Chris Cuomo isn't the biggest problem with CNN and their journalistic standards. It's really about their uh, framing around issues that are always pro-corporate, pro-business, pro-wealthy. Very rarely are they ever actually representing the, the working class and their needs and their desires. That's the biggest issue with CNN and, and mainstream press generally. But this was a high profile example showcasing how they have, you know, their, their biggest host on, host on the network on primetime, how he was working with his governor brother to help him during a time when his brother was receiving all those, all those allegations. So having that conflict of interest there now, yes, Cuomo didn't defend his brother on air during that time, but he used his connections behind the scenes to work for his brother as an advisor. You can't do that. (laughs) Like, if you want to help your brother, fine, help your brother, but leave your job at CNN. You can't help your brother, who is a sitting governor during a time like that, you know, intimately involved with the strategizing and and the advising and using your connections in with other other journalists and sources to try and help your brother. You can't do that as a journalist and not expect to have this, you know, mess come from it. So he got fired for good reason. Now, A little more here. So CNN's PR put out this statement saying Chris Cuomo was suspended earlier this week pending further evaluation of new information that came to light about his involvement with his brother's defense. We retained a respected law firm to conduct the review and have terminated him effective immediately. While in the process of that review, additional information has come to light. Despite the termination, we will investigate as appropriate. So I'm going to get to in a bit here maybe what that additional information is and that may have been what tipped the scales for them to fire him this quickly as opposed to having a more prolonged investigation but before i get to that chris cuomo also released a statement saying this is not how i want my time at cnn to end but i have already told you why and how i help my brother so let me now say as disappointing as this is i could not be more proud of the team at cuomo primetime and the work we did as CNN's number one show in the most competitive time slot, I owe them all and will miss that group of special people who did really important work. All right. um, That's the full statement. You didn't apologize for helping your brother against these serious allegations. Just talked about your ratings. (laughs) I don't know. I find it kind of weird. But hey, when you're that sheltered, it, you apparently don't really care about how your actions impact individuals or people, society. So, you know, he just thought it was good to pump his ratings. All right. Do you? But um, this may be the extra piece as to, well, part of maybe why he didn't bring up the allegations, but also maybe what tipped the uh, tipsy and end to fire him this soon. 
from Jody Cantor here. Chris Cuomo was fired three days after the network received a new accusation of sexual misconduct from a former junior colleague. This means that both Cuomo brothers have lost their positions in the wake of Me Too accusations. Now, there isn't a lot of details yet on this new accusation. There was actually another accusation before this that came out from that is a person that named themselves, someone that Chris Cuomo used to work for, though that person's accusation, she said it was not sexual in nature, but it was more of a power thing and she was touched in the process. But whatever, regardless, this new accusation, there's not much detail on it yet, so I'm not going to get into that part of it. But clearly, I think if CNN knew about this, which it sounds like they did, I'm sure this just led them to firing him earlier than they were going to anyways, because this coming out means they have to do even more investigation and, you know, the, it prolongs the whole process. They probably just figured, you know what, it's not worth my time or worth our time. We're going to get rid of him. On top of that, they had people at CNN that were apparently pissed at CNN for not dealing with Chris Coleman, not getting rid of him before this. So they figure, you know what, we'll get rid of him now, move on from this, uh, this, this situation. And yeah, that's what they did. So there you go. That's likely what tipped them to do this earlier. But one last thing here before I, I go, because this has kind of been lost in this entire thing, is what Andrew Cuomo did during COVID. Because these accusations, of course, are very important, a very important piece to this whole discussion around Andrew Cuomo. But Chris Cuomo had his brother on while Andrew Cuomo was hiding nursing home deaths. So Chris or Andrew Cuomo had directed the state to send recovering COVID patients to nursing homes. And in the process of that, increased COVID transmission and COVID deaths at nursing homes. And that went widely unreported until much later that it, when it came out. And while, but while that was happening, Chris Cuomo had his brother on the show praising him during, all, during the beginning of the pandemic. You can go back and watch those clips. I covered that a number of times. But, you know, it's one thing to do that. I'm sure Chris Cuomo wasn't aware of what his brother was doing. Maybe he was, but he probably wasn't aware of what his brother was doing at the time with nursing homes. But once you discovered that, once this came out, there was a, a full investigation into this. I mean, they, they looked into this and even an aide connected uh, or, or sorry, conceded the administration withheld the nursing home death toll from state lawmakers out of a fear it would be used against the state by the Trump administration. So a Cuomo aide confirmed this story. When this all came out, Chris Cuomo never came out on the air and apologized for for propping up his brother during the pandemic. Never talked about this at all. He just stopped talking about his brother completely. Like, if you're going to prop your brother up during the pandemic, claiming he's, you know, the best politician in the country, as Chris Cuomo said while, while he had his brother on, at the very least, as a journalist, you have to come out and say, you know what, I was wrong. This is the actual facts. This is the data. This is what, what my brother did. Now, he's not going to do that because it's his brother. But you know what? If that's the case, then you should not be working at CNN. You should have quit your job. But, Yeah. For, for some reason, that's been lost in all of this, that lots of people died because of what Andrew Cuomo did, and Chris Cuomo helped his brother during the pandemic. I don't know why that this part of the discussion is largely being, uh, you know, pushed, pushed aside or ignored, but there you go. <laughs> the Cuomo era is over. Both Andrew Cuomo and Chris Cuomo gone. And look, I know Chris Cuomo has a lot of fans. I know because my videos criticizing some of his work get a lot of comments from people that love Chris Cuomo. So I'm sure this is going to anger some CNN viewers, but you can't, you really, I don't care how much you may love Chris Cuomo. You cannot, ex, you cannot have, uh, have expected CNN to actually keep him on in the wake of all of this. So, you know, hopefully some of those people open their minds to the reality of who Chris Cuomo is just a very wealthy, well-connected individual from birth. He was wealthy and well-connected -connect because of his, uh, his father, of course, so it's just someone who was always really disconnected from reality when it came to the working class. But on top of that, of course, this kind of journalistic malpractice is not something that CNN wanted to have uh, connected to them clearly going forward.